Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to my LEGO city. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a look at the new fire department that I've added to my city, as well as showing you a couple of buildings that have been moved around. And I'm also going to show you the new aerial displays in the city that includes a classic space and a look at Grindelwald's escape. Let's begin. <laughs> So that fire department that I mentioned is in this back area of the city and this is the Winter Village Fire Station from 2018. I got that set at Christmas time and you can see that what I did is I put in a base plate and I have the set displayed on a base plate right there. I've got a little bit of a sidewalk going around it. It's not the nicest looking thing and I'm not really thrilled with it. As for the roof, I'm going to be changing out some of the snow elements just to make it look a little more natural and fit into a normal display but I think overall it looks really good and another feature I really like is that I have a way for the light brick to stay on if I want that way it looks really cool for nighttime scenes so with adding that in I had to move around the layout of this area of the city ever so slightly so I moved the temple of resurrection over a bit and that's actually out above the train tracks out there you can see the tracks go behind it so it's just moved a little bit over and the building I had to move was actually the bike shop from the Lego City 2013 set. So this is the bike shop and you can see that I added in a wall to the back of that because that building didn't originally have walls in the back which allowed for really good play. So the walls I have there are just built up with some of my own pieces and I actually have some billboards on display in there. You can see one billboard has Evil Knievel on it and the other one on this side has a cheerleader. I think that those just look really good in the city. You know, if you just take an eye level view of the minifigures, just looking up there, it's really cool to see those billboards. I think they look really nice. I feel like they just add a lot to the display. Now the pictures on the billboards are stickers and they're actually from the Lego City sticker book, which I have down here. I've had this book for a while now and basically I just cut out the stickers to put them onto the city right there. And those are pretty much the main big changes to the layout of the city with the actual buildings and such. Everything else is pretty much the same and in its general location, but I do have more plans to be changing it up because I have something that I just ordered from lego.com that's gonna be taking this area of the city up, so stay tuned to check that out in just a bit. So now let's take a look at the displays above the city. So this is the Thestral that is carrying Grindelwald's carriage so he can be transported to the prison overseas. And this is all over top of the Harry Potter area of my Lego city. I know that this isn't accurate to the location where he was actually being moved from, but I just wanted to put it in the Harry Potter area since it all is in the wizarding world. And you can see right under here that Grindelwald is underneath of the carriage because he has escaped and if you look inside there he's actually traded places with Abernathy who is in there and I'm just using my Percival Graves minifig in there as him and just all around this carriage I wanted to make this look as accurate to the scene in the new movie as I could so I've got some members of Makuza just flying on a broom right there it's only one minifig and it's Tina Goldstein again wouldn't it be accurate at all but I really like it and I just think it adds a lot to this display, especially when you zoom back and look at it at this level, it actually looks like she's flying next to him. I don't have anyone in the passenger seat, but I do have one more figure around the display, and that is the Madam President of Makuza. Again, doesn't really make sense to have her on the carriage since she was the one who was kind of setting Grinnellwald off. But again, I think it looks really good and I think this whole display just looks really nice. It's a really nice look and it has a really good feel to it and I think that it really captures the scene of Grindelwald escaping there's just another angle of him I just think that looks really cool and I think it only adds to the Harry Potter layout that I have here which really just looks really good the next display up here is a space display and this is just above one of the main streets of my city and you can see that once again this is just being held up by yarn in the ceiling tiles and what I've got here is a little classic space display going on with this spaceship. So this is a city spaceship and I've got the spaceman from Benny Space Squad up there. You can see just looking all around I have all the astronauts laid out around there so it looks really cool. 
You can see Benny is up there with a satellite. I also have some of his friends hanging around there. You can also see Jenny is down there. And I think this just looks really good in comparison to the city. It just looks really nice when you kind of zoom out and just see it up there. And it's really enjoyable to have as a classic space display. I think it looks really nice. Then on this side you can just see we have another blue astronaut who's just hanging out down there. And then we also have Lenny. And if you want to know my thoughts as to why Lenny is pink, click the card up above. But yeah, that's really it for this space display. It looks really good. And I think that just to have something above the city is really cool. Over here, the other thing that's hanging up is a dragon from Ninjago. And this actually isn't anything new. I did a video with this dragon in it quite a while ago. And that's the only other thing hanging around the city. And that's going to be it for this video. So thank you all so much for taking the time to check out this video and look at what's new in my LEGO city. I really like the way these displays look up above. I think they just look really good. It's just something really nice to have that only adds to the city display because the city doesn't have that much height to it. So I really like having the things flying in the air. As for the other buildings, I think that they just continue to look good. And my goal is actually to have much more buildings in this city throughout the year. So I kind of want to really work on this back street next. I want to try to get more modular style locks in there, try to get some of the sets out of there. I also, like I said earlier, have big plans for this area back here. So if you want to see those, you're going to have to stay tuned. That's going to be it for this video. Let me know by leaving a comment what you think of my city, if you like it, if you don't like it. And also let me know what you think of the lighting of this video since I tried something different. That's going to be it for this video though, so thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all again in my next video.